Google gives GA4 custom funnel reports and drops eight new top level domains. And YouTube sweetens the deal for their ads and shorts. Hello, my SEOs, do me a favor and hit that like button. My name is Kiko and let's talk about those things here today on This Week in SEO News. Brought to you by PosiRank.com. Well, Google Analytics 4, or GA4 as we call it in them streets, launched custom funnel reports, enabling marketers to identify the steps needed to complete a task and evaluate the number of users dropping off between each one. Advertisers can now create detailed reports using funnel expiration that can examine abandonment rates, completion rates, and open and closed funnels. So stop abandoning carts and just leaving them there like you're going to come back in a week. It's hurtful. They can also customize the chart and date range for a more detailed view. However, there are some limitations, like the maximum number of custom reports per property and unsupported conditions for funnel exploration. This is going to be really helpful in understanding the customer's path and should allow for better data-driven decisions in optimizing advertising campaigns. Hopefully, giving businesses and SEOs better understanding of users' behavior and the ability to pinpoint areas for improvement to help with user experience, increasing conversion rates, and ultimately maximizing ROI. So now I'm finally going to know which one of you keeps clicking on the video and leaving halfway through. Oh yeah, I will find you. But wait, there's more. Google announced the release of eight new top level domains like it was releasing diss tracks. The eight new TLDs include .dad, .phd, .prof, .esquire, .foo, .zip, .move, and .nexus. So if you're a law firm or Bill S. Preston Esquire, then the Esquire TLD represents an exciting opportunity. This will allow you to acquire domain names tailored to your profession. However, some are concerned that the .zip and .move TLDs, which are based on file extensions, could pose a security risk as they are often associated with malicious payloads, which is like totally heinous. These new TLDs can be registered starting May 3rd with prices decreasing over six phases until reaching a base price of $30 per month on May 10th. And while exact match keyword domain names are not necessary for ranking well in Google, they can provide a value by standing out in search results and potentially improving conversion rates. So whether you're a proud dad, an esteemed lawyer, or one of the wild stallions, Google's new TLDs are offering a unique opportunity for every one of you dudes. And lastly, YouTube is introducing new features for shorts ads including extending shorts and in-feed video ads into video reach campaigns that use artificial intelligence to serve the ideal combination of ads. YouTube Select, a targeting solution, will now be compatible with shorts, allowing ads to be paired with trending content. These updates come as YouTube faces declining ad revenue and increasing competition from rivals like TikTok. By enhancing shorts ads, YouTube aims to boost the platform's monetization and attract more more advertisers. One notable update is that shorts and in-feed videos will now be applicable for video reach campaigns, which uses AI to help brands, which is like totally awesome. Well, my dudes, that's all the news I have for you today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these stories. Till next time, my name is Kiko and be excellent to each other.